Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode six of Space Code Foundation's interview series for women of color in space. I'm Nivedita Raju, Director of Legal Affairs and Research at Space Code. At the foundation, we firmly believe in the benefit of outer space for all of humankind, which is why we're excited to feature a different speaker on our series every episode. This month, we're featuring Thi Hien Nguyen. Hien is an entrepreneur and founder of Space Connects, in addition to being a mentor for UN Space for Women. Welcome. With a background in health, medicine, and entrepreneurship, what led you to focus on the space sector? You know, I was always very curious and invested into self-development and evolution. And uh, I came to a stage of my life where I mastered the uh, area of health, well-being, anything to do with uh, health and performance. And then uh, I started to ask question, how can I make a greater impact? How, how, how would I be able to scale more impact beyond myself, like beyond my community, beyond my, even beyond my own country? Uh, how can I scale impact? And so I started to ask more and more questions and uh, ended up with uh, that the answer would be through space technology. And there was then the birth of Space Connects, which wasn't planned at all. And as the founder of Space Connects, can you please tell us more about the company and its objective? It was not planned at all. I wasn't uh, someone who was looking at uh, uh, rocket launches, reading science fiction movies. I don't have a PhD. I don't have a technology background. It actually came out of a coaching program. It came out of my dreams. I'm uh, naturally a very, very, very intuitive futurist, if that makes sense. So I had very, very vivid dreams where the purpose almost pulled me towards this. I had been called to uh, guide humanity uh, off planets. So literally making humanity space. And then a few years ago for fun, we did start a project where I called in, listen, I'm going to register at ASA. I'm going to build a team. I'm going to make humanity space. I had great interest in, with great multiple stakeholders, investors, technologists, and you know, uh, engineers uh, joining the team. And of course, we felt the first time it was a great experience. So we continued uh, to promote um, space for sustainable de development. And I think without space technology, we, are, we won't be able to solve our global grand challenges right now. If we can make this happen here on Earth, we will be able to take it off the planet. But there, back then when I started, when I started, and I started very, very late with no background at all in space. So I had to build this community myself, the one that I wanted to see. And fast forward, we're here to connect and collaborate with uh, scientists and engineers and policymakers, all walks of life to build those communities beyond the earth you know, through science systems and tools and technologies to, to build those self-sustaining and prosperous human communities, you know, as we apply those SDGs with the support of UNOSA and uh, the possibilities that the Space for Women Network also gives us. Excellent. And, you know, this shows that everyone truly has a place in space. Through your work, do you feel that an interdisciplinary approach is tangibly lacking in, in the industry? I learned an interdisciplinary approach to the International Space University. What, what it is lacking is a holistic view of solving problems. But I think things are very, very much changing now. That old way of leading, it's over. It's accessible. I hear a lot of male holding space for women. It's so much easier these days and accessible for anyone to start, no matter which walk you're coming from. That's a good point and very true. Moving to a more serious subject, the rise in violence against Asians over the last year has been horrific. What are the challenges that you say you would have faced as an Asian woman from a professional perspective? 
first I was uh, very curious when I when you invited me, right? You you said this is a podcast for supporting women of color. I've never considered myself as women of color or being different than um, I think the biggest illusion of humanity is to think that we are different, but we're the same, you know. So my professional career, I don't think that it has something to do that I was of color. It was more, uh, of course, sexual, being a woman, these comments. Uh, so I've been fortunate to be raised where the values from home were loving and kind so that I could uh, responding to these challenges with kindness rather than uh, I am aware that this does exist but I try to not pour more into these I don't like to say it Asian hate <laughs> yeah I can understand that and you saying that you've overcome those challenges with kindness that is I think a truly admirable achievement Given the additional challenges that race and gender pose, you know, you've mentioned gender specifically. What advice do you have for young women who want to work in the space sector? What sets you apart from anyone else? What is your uh, mastery? What comes at ease for you um, without any effort? Intuitive insights come naturally for me. I, I'll get to a point uh, without logic. Like, you know, so um, I think that's very important that you find your ninja. What, what are you so exquisite at as opposed to looking externally, admire this mentor? Or let's, let's say if, even, even if you want to be like Elon Musk, you know, then you can offer, you can offer uh, your, your time and your energy for free internship. And then after six months, you say, you know, I want to have your precision, but you must know who you are because society intends to otherwise indoctrinate it to you or you follow this guru, but at some point you will always face obstacles. Yeah, so if you want to lead authentically, um, you lean into your own way of being and serving. And I think think of something way greater than yourself. You know, Elon Musk doesn't do that for the money. He could start any business and it would be successful so know really at the core of your being what you came here to do and then you look for these role models you want to be like Jeff Bezos and then be aligned with their vision and then these days it's so easy to reach out to people and um, offer get coached by be fearless and be relentless and be curious be good at asking questions and the other things, accessibility and accountability, you got to show up for what you want and share that with the people. I started to ask my, my friends, you know, you tell me what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses? If, everyone says, you know, um, aren't you a little bit out there with your space stuff, you know, and take it more risk. It's fun. In addition to your work at Space Connects, you also host the UN Space for Women show. Could you please share with our viewers a little bit about the series and your mentoring experience? Oh, yeah. So um, we wanted to make uh, space accessible. It was for women and girls, you know, and there was no such community or education that was uh, easily digestible and relatable for the girls and, and the women. It should be fun, you know. So we, we wanted to break down the complexity of the space community and make it really accessible for everyone to understand, for everyone to step in and to get on board. So we, we created this show and it's been great to facilitate and promote uh, the integration of, you know, this uh, public-private partnerships and sectors, academic institutions, research and development in this field of utilization. I personally learned a lot from producing those shows myself, in fact, we continued the second year based on the feedback of the mentees and my own mentors. This was happening with the support of many other women who were willing to, you know, th th think like-minded and were willing to serve out there, you know, without an agenda. Just let's get out there. Let's have fun. Let's educate. Let's join together. Let's support each other. It's been amazing a time. 
Thank you, Hien, for that excellent interview and for sharing your advice with the young leaders of the future. Space Court Foundation will announce details for its next episode soon. Until then, please like this video and follow up social media pages for updates.